Good afternoon. Um, <clears throat> first of all, my name is Kenneth Hill. I want to thank you for allowing me to present here. Um, I myself am in a bit of an awkward position as not being the smartest person in the room, so please bear with me um, as I present my information here. Um, I myself am a neurosurgeon out of, uh, out of Pennsylvania. My wife is a pediatrician, and we are the co-founders of Wonder Health LLC uh, and Mina Health. And over the next 15 minutes, I'd like to present to you um, our product uh, that deals with translation and interoperability of the personal health record um, with Mina using QR codes as a medium uh, for communication. Again, my wife, she is actually on sabbatical taking care of our four children. I think they're all four of mine. Um, and, uh, and I'm a practicing neurosurgeon out of, out of St. Joe's uh, in Pennsylvania. There's really no influence based upon our position on today's talk. <clears throat> the goals of the pre presentation today are to describe a need for an untethered personal health record and briefly describe some of the difficulties of achieving this. Um, as well as introduce you to MINA um, and describe how interoperability is the key to providing great health care for now and in the future. So without further ado, I have a little video uh, based upon the patient encounter about uh, MINA. Welcome to MINA, the revolutionary way of collecting, storing, and transferring your health information. MINA stands for Medical Information by Novel Acquisition. It is dedicated to evolving the way that you, the user, communicate with your healthcare provider. MINA was developed by a team of physicians, as well as individuals just like you, to ensure that MINA would benefit everyone. People have gotten frustrated and tired of filling out redundant forms each and every time they visit their healthcare providers. Whether it be a primary doctor or a specialist, a chiropractor or a dentist, each visit requires a form with the same basic information. Despite the redundancy of these forms, physicians need them so they have the most accurate information to provide the best and safest care. Now with Mina, everybody wins. Mina is a smartphone application that allows you to store your health information securely. Now when you visit your doctor or any other participating healthcare provider, you can safely and easily communicate your medical history without filling out multiple paper forms. And since most families have 2.5 kids, a dog, two cats, and an aging parent to look after, you can store the information of your children, parents, and any other dependent. The goal of Mina is that you will simply need to enter your information once, while making only minor changes over time, limiting the need to remember details each visit. Your health history is then converted into your personal health blueprint or QR code for easy and paperless transfer when scanned by your provider. Simply download the application, follow the prompts for the required data fields, and show the QR code to your healthcare provider. You can also rest assured that no one can access your information without your specific passwords. We here at Mina believe that everyone can benefit from this application, and that's why it has been developed across Windows, Apple, and Android platforms. A temp version will also be available for those who do not have a smartphone. So why should you download Mina? Because not only will Mina reduce the number of forms you need to complete, but even more importantly, it will improve the accuracy and comprehensiveness of your past medical history and more accurate information leads to better care. Mina is a more efficient, accurate, comprehensive, encrypted, safe, modern, user-friendly, reliable, and cost-effective way to store and transfer your health history. Oh, and the best part, it's completely free, with no in-app ads or purchases necessary. So we encourage you to download the app today and join the Mina movement. So now that you have an introduction to MINA, um, I'd like to take a step back and go through just two definitions of terms um, to uh, better understand what an untethered personal health record is. I know this is basic for, all, for everyone here, but I just want to go through it anyway. So a personal health record is that patient reported information um, that the patient has in their own head that they give to all healthcare providers. It's the seven pages of information that you need when you go to your primary care doctor, a chiropractor, a dentist, in the emergency room. It's also the information that even your veterinarian may ask about a pet that you may have when you take them for care. Um, <clears throat> so obviously this information is pretty much universal for everybody that breathes air. Untethered, uh, this means that there is a seamless integration between and amongst providers of this information, regardless of the provider's medical record system or process. Everyone here understands that it is important for high quality care to have interoperability 
Um, and, uh, but the problem is, is how do you get that to be adopted by everybody? So, <clears throat> again, how do you get uh, an app like this to be um, used by everybody? You need to make sure that you have a standard form that is used by all providers. My wife and I, we sat down and we understand that as healthcare providers, you go to medical school and they teach you that you need to know your past medical history, past surgical history, allergies, medications, family history, social history, review of systems. I could run off the tongue with that any time of the day, five day uh, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. But it's not standardized, all right? Even if you talk about international care or uh, um, uh, the quality of care that you would need whenever you're traveling somewhere, anywhere in the world, most of that information is still the same. There's only very small differences um, within the past medical history, regardless of whether you're in China, whether you're in Sub-Saharan Africa, or anywhere else in the world. So, obviously, being able to communicate this information is very critical um, in, to, in terms of providing high-level care. One of the ways that we are trying to um, help implement this more uh, globally is embedded in our translation capabilities. Um, we do have a standard set of queries and standard responses associated with those questions. That information is then decrypted at rest and it is encoded in a series of QR codes um, as a third party condensed data transfer block. Then on the provider side, it is converted back into the full text. By doing this, we have taken the entire uh, smartphone application and translated it into Spanish. And any number of languages would be easily implemented um, in this manner. On the provider side, that third party um, identifier is then converted back into the full form of that initial uh, response. Uh, <clears throat> because uh, the third party identifiers have been encrypted similarly, the, the, regardless of the language, the provider can actually pick which language that they want that uh, third party identifier converted back into. So, uh, essentially what we have now is you can have a Spanish smartphone application where you can enter all the information in Spanish and on the provider side it converts it to English and vice versa and obviously then the, the uh, languages are limitless. So, you know, having that translation capability is, is, is important and that's the basis of one of our patent pending um, applications. But again, how do you get the interoperability of this, in, of this untethered personal health record? In order for it to be used by all healthcare providers, you really need to have a multifaceted way of integration into a normal healthcare workflow. Um, and uh, before I go into the description of the number of, uh, uh, of ways that you can integrate this into workflow, I'd like to give a brief video on the ease of use of the software. This is a brief video that demonstrates how easily and efficiently MyNote works. It's very straightforward with minimum steps, making the program easy for any office staff to use. The first step is to make sure the scanning device is either installed, such as a built-in camera on your computer, or connected such as a handheld scanning device. Double click on the MyNote desktop icon to open the program, and then either click scan a QR code on the left toolbar or in the bottom center of the screen. Select your scanning method of choice, the computer's camera or the scanner. Place the QR code approximately six inches from the scanning device, approximately the distance from your wrist to your elbow, and scan. You will then be prompted to select which sections you wish to transfer. Once your selections are made, save the information as a condensed PDF to your desktop. Now it's ready to be integrated into your office workflow. So we at MINA um, think that there's probably about seven ways of integrating this information into a normal um, healthcare provider's workflow. This includes electronic PDF integration into the electronic medical record, review of the summary of information within the MINA software for dictation purposes, printing of the condensed summary for staff to review and reconcile. My personal favorite is a printing of this, uh, the single page condensed information to collect notes during the current visit for later use. Um, print and scan um, of the information into the electronic medical record as an outside record or for those healthcare providers that are not <coughs> um, 
it, on an electronic medical record system, they could actually integrate the paper into the chart. But obviously the gold standard would be um, taking this information and integration and, and auto population into the electronic medical record. Um, <clears throat> currently, MINA is working uh, on our first API for uh, auto population and integration into the electronic medical record. Um, on the back end of the API, we are uh, presenting the, this information to the EM EMR for integration. Uh, with the, the cooperation um, of the people at Hospital Run, which is an open source EMR system for third world uh, use, um, we have now determined that we are, going to that we are using Fire Release 3 as a data field directory for integration. We have taken all the information from the personal health record and correlated it with the data field directory in FHIR um, for integration of this information. <clears throat> MINA is not an EMR system. We are an add-on service for any EMR system. And once we have this first um, integration completed, which is scheduled or slotted to be completed in the first quarter of next year, We'll have proof of concept um, and proof of utility, and then any uh, EMR system that uses FHIR as a backbone can easily use MINA as an integration tool. Use of MINA is a win-win for both the patient as well as the provider. There are multiple benefits associated with improved care associated with this technology. Over the next few slides, I want to describe some of these. Whenever you're looking at from a provider standpoint, um, MINA now allows us to have a more complete and reliable health history. Um, no more will I be able to see incomplete forms come to my, to my office. They will all be completed for whatever reasons. Um, it improves the intake process. It, it uh, improves provider efficiency. It has a potential for quality improvement projects for, for any healthcare office. In addition, uh, it is a cost savings. Um, the app itself is uh, free for the patients. On the provider side, we did a, a, a very biased survey of 12 practices and actually on, <clears throat> based upon the responses to our questionnaire, it's actually $100 savings around the process of processing a personal health record per month for the provider. Um, it increases the patient's responsibility. Um, it improves communication, it's highly secure. And we have a business model that uh, incorporates a portion of our, uh, our profits to giving back to communities both locally and, and internationally. On the consumer side, um, now the consumer has a convenient um, and affordable access to their health history information. They no longer have to fill out any more forms, which is the best uh, um, application for them. The QR codes changes as you change the information within the application, so this is a fluid process that can provide updated information each time that you scan, um, and it's beneficial at every visit whenever you go to see the provider. It makes each visit more efficient and effective. Um, it is safe and secure, and again, uh, it makes a difference for both local and international community. So mine is simple, it's easy to use. Um, we have um, created a way uh, to break down the translation barrier. Um, we, have, um, we are in the process of using our auto population and integration capabilities. Um, and you know, I think that the, the sky is the limit in terms of uh, utilization. Um, I want to thank FIRE and the, the committee for selecting and allowing us to present our information here. All criticisms are welcome. Positive criticisms will probably uh, garnish a positive email back. Uh, please <laughs> send any criticisms to me. Um, uh, we're available for any partnerships. Um, please also use my contact information for that. Understand that I am still a practicing neurosurgeon, so if you call me during the middle of the day, I may be indisposed, uh, but uh, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. <laughs>